it's Jojo, and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, today I am giving a shout out to Gaming with JSFL. Check out his channel; he's pretty cool. I watched one of his videos, and I really liked it. Um, so today, guys, what we are going to be do doing is um, I I'm going to show you how, guys, how I build my farm. No, this is not a redstone tutorial; it's a farming tutorial. So grab your grab your glass gra grass blocks. I'm gonna grab my stone to outline it. You need oak fences or any kind of fence, any kind of gate, torch, water bucket, a hoe, and then your seeds. I'm not gonna get around my seeds quite yet. All right, so you've got your you've got your 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 dirt or grass or whatever you're using. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you, of course, add your thing right there. So you've got eight blocks worth of seeds that can be fit right here. All of them have to be the same on, on these right here. And then, of course, we outline it with stone. This is just one part of the farm. Right, so there we go, we've got one part of it. Now we just go... One, two, three, four. Add your thing there. Now, there's two types of seeds. Uh, your, oops. Your normal type, which is like your wheat, and your carrots, and potatoes, and beetroots, and your other kind, which are your melons and pumpkin seeds. So, I'm going to grow this farm. I grow melons and wheat. So, I'm going to add my melon seeds right here. And my fresh tilled dirt. Then my regular seeds right here. So that's how you can build either type of farm. You can add all your kinds of farm there. Just add your gates right in the center. And you add your and then you add your fences to protect it from monsters and such. Put your fences around. All the way around like that. If you have a multi-farm like I do here. You also put a gate right here, and you got a nice little pathway there. That's how they grow. These ones will grow. Here, I'll grab some bone meal. It'll be right here instead of the grass block. Should grow its melon soon. It's just get plenty of these going here. There we go, we've got our thing grown right here. They should add their melons. Of course you need to add your torches so that they can grow at night. So you skip one each time to make sure it has plenty of light so they can grow in something at least similar to daylight. Just skip every other, you skip one fence and then add your next torch, like this. This is a great way to build a farm. And then just add like this. Let your gates, and boom, it should be well lit enough. Here, let's turn it to night. Uh, night. You can see, it should, be, it should be bright enough for your crops to grow. Set day. There we go, we've got our crops that can grow. That's how you make your your plant version of it. Now for the animal version. Grab your stone, your grass, your fence, and gate. 
as well as to make sure that their water can grow back. Some water buckets. Let's make it 10 by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then just add that. It's 10 by 10 on the inside. This out place here is just, you know. Alright, let's leave a little place for their water. Let's fill this in here. Let's leave that open as well. Giving them plenty of water here so that their grass can keep growing. Then you pour in your water. The way the grass can grow back a lot easier. Then your water there. Then let's just stick our gate like that. I do this. I do it like that so that it's all symmetrical. You don't have to have it symmetrical, but I prefer having my things symmetrical. And it, this is. I'm going to show you how to put your sheep in there so that you can be sure to get any kind of color combination with enough luck. Okay, so here's our little field for our animals. Let's grab sheep. You just need to have at least one breeding pair of any other kind, but for sheep, actually I think yeah, the sheep, you just need red, yellow, blue, black. Spawn in five sheep. One, two, three, four, five. Make one red, one yellow, one blue, one black, and leave the other white. That's how you can ensure any color combination. Just have five sheep, just like that. These two will make gray. These two will make purple, orange. You can make it pink. You can do basically anything you want. Get any color combination just from these five sheep. That's how you. That's how you build. Oh look, see melons grow. That's how melons and pumpkins grow, just like that. So this is a great farm to have. You have your your wheat and such over on the other side. And you got your animals. Sugarcane farms are a bit different actually, but these ones I never fence in because they're always by nat they're always by natural lake for me. I just like the way that looks, so I'll just randomly. Sugar cane. So I'll just take my sugar cane. You know, go like that. You know, just place them along the edge of, of any water. Any water source will do. Generally, I try and put them along the flat edges. That way, they're easier to reach and they look more farm-like. And that's how you. That's how you build a sugar cane farm. Your wheat and. Your, your other kind of plant, your little ranch. I, pre I prefer separating my creatures to have sheep, cows, pigs, that kind of stuff. And then I have all my all my farm all my plants all lined up neatly. But some people prefer to have all their animals shoved into one place, one pen. Makes it easier on them. I can see how that does. And generally, you're going to want a farming shack behind it, so let's see. I'm going to build it out of oak. I'm going to need oak door. I'm going to need a chest. Uh, and I'm going to need a torch. Just 
build it however big you want, just to make sure it can have plenty of storage, so I'm going to build it, um, 8 by 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just go like that. Add your doors. You can pretty this up any way you want. You can add stairs on the roof. But this is just your basic shack that you have. You don't need to have your, your floor filled in, although a lot of builders do prefer it that way. Makes it look a lot better. A lot more professional. But some like it this like it without anything. That way it looks more natural and more like it's an actual barn. Because that's essentially what we are building is a barn. I know a lot of builders do like stairs because it makes it look more more like it's a real life thing instead of, of just this cube which is just the classic starter house um, not something that we, we build to be proud of although some people do because a lot of times it's the function drop down in here that. Put the torches on the wall. That's just for now to light it up. Go like that. Come that open. Just leave that there blank. Just make sure that I do this right. There we go. That's how you build your basic little storage area for your for your stuff. Now you can decorate it by adding a few hay bales in there. That way it looks a lot more like an actual farm thing. You can add hay bales on the floor. Build it however you like. This is your build. Something you should be proud of. That's just basically how you build it. You can make it look however you like. You can organize your stuff, add signs. It's a great way to build it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna flare it up because I do have time. Stairs. I'm also going to grab slabs. Since this is simply, since this is just a simple farmhouse, I'm not going to add my my usual, it's very odd looking th things to my structure that I build. You'll see why I grabbed the slabs in a moment. This does look real good, and notice I did have a little overhang here. So now we can just add these along the top here so that we can just stack our stairs. Some builds, the center is one block, so you also need these to make it look real nice and neat. Actually, it also a, a uh, wooden block works as well. But I prefer the slabs to make it fit in with, it, with our gentle sloping upward theme. So here we are. Almost at the top, almost done. See this one? It's going to be difficult. I need to add it like that. There we go. Can make, you can tether up your horses and such, the horses and donkeys, so that they can easily be accessed. Just simply by grabbing a lead. So you've got your your horse, your donkey, and your mule. And you just put them right there. They're all attached. They're all together. You can just grab whatever you need. That's all the time we have for today. 
uh, definitely leave a like uh, and leave a like on the video if this helped you. Subscribe if you want to see more amazing content. Check out my other videos, such as my passlock tutorial, my farming tutorial, and my let's plays. Have a great day, guys. Bye!